Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video for your weather update. Here's what we're looking at as far as the forecast for the week. Hot today, very humid. Heat indices are going to be in the triple digits. It'll be hot later in the week, isolated storms, nothing too widespread until we get to the weekend when things start to get unsettled, Friday and Saturday in particular. And the warm temperatures continue as of this recording. We were in the 80s and 70s. Dew points were very high, 76. I mean, that is almost off the charts there. I mean, it's not something that we don't normally get during the summer. It just always stinks when we get it. Uh, but it's a pretty quiet pattern. Uh, we haven't seen too much in terms of rainfall. The morning's not going to get a lot of rainfall. This afternoon's not going to get a lot of rainfall. Some inland storms possible, but uh, mostly just warm and humid high of 91, but again, the humidity will raise the heat indices. And we are also looking at isolated storms, mostly in the inland areas. Coastal areas uh, need no such caution. So if you're going to the beach, I can't really see much in terms of issues here. Same thing's going to apply once we extend the future track for the next 48 hours. Notice how the storms in the area are not too widespread. So we'll remain warm due to this ridge, but watch what happens by the end of the week. We see this upper level trough dipping into the area around Friday and Saturday and then moving out by the time we get to Sunday or Monday. What this is going to do is it's going to bring some more moisture into the forecast. So we will remain humid as you know would be expected, but expect the humidity to rise going into that weekend. And then there's that dry air pushing into the area. We'll have plenty, plenty of moisture to help facilitate the development of rain and storms and in some cases heavy rain during Friday and Saturday in particular could even see it into Sunday later on the Mr. Sparky seven day forecast. It looks like we may just start to dry out on Monday. Overnight lows also start to take a dip and we really need that. We've been waking up to very, very warm lows recently. Highs will remain hot in the 90s, shifting to the 80s later in the week.